Ik heb het
Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor, and their works be follow them. Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. And where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, you know. And the way you know. Amen. God bless his word. Heavenly Father, you are so gracious to us today to be able to come together. And even at a time such as this, and we repeat that such as this, so many things going on in the world, we're still able to come together to honor one of yours, one of your daughters. We come before you just to thank you. We pray for this family. We pray for this fellowship. We pray for every friend who is gathered today and ask that the peace of God will be with every person here today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 We're going to have a musical selection at this time.
God that the storm has moved away. Amen? Amen. 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 We thank God for, for the storm that God moves away in our lives. Amen? Amen. At this time, we're going to have uh, Old Testament scripture reading by Reverend uh, Cassandra Thomas. And then uh, behind her will come Pastor or Reverend Leslie Blige. And he's going to do our prayer. sharing the Old and New Testament scripture readings, having known the Bryant and Covington family for decades, it's my honor and privilege to be here today, praying God's comfort in you. Let's pray as a prayer of illumination. God of power and grace, fill us with the wisdom of your word and the understanding of your spirit so that we may be your church, a church with dreams and visions at work in this world for your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Let us listen to the word of the Lord. Our first scripture is taken from Psalm 25 using the New International Version. We hear these words of David. In you, Lord, my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame. The shame will come on those who are treacherous without a cause. Show me your ways, O oh Lord. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me. For you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs in sinners in his way. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful for those who keep the demands of his covenant. For the sake of your name, Lord, forgive mine iniquities, though it is great. Who then are those who fear the Lord? He will instruct them in the ways that they should choose. They will spend their days in prosperity, and their descendants will inherit the land. The Lord confides in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever on the Lord, for only he will release my feet from the snare. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and free me from my anguish. Look on my affliction and my distress and take away all my sins. See how numerous are my enemies and how fiercely they hate me. Guard my life, rescue me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness protect me. Because my hope, Lord, is in you. Deliver Israel, O oh God, from all their troubles. This is Psalm 25, verses 1 through 22 in its entirety. From the New Testament, we hear from the Apostle Paul to the house churches at Corinth. 2 Corinthians, the first chapter, 3rd through 5th verses. And we hear these words of praise to God for all comfort. Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. 
For just as we share abundantly in the sufferings of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. May you keep these words in your heart, for this is the word of God, for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
Though your heart must hold deep sadness at the loss of the one that you love, may it be also hold the blessings of the life you share and the love that will always be a part of you. Pray that God will comfort your heart, uplift your spirit, and carry you through this time of sadness to a place of Thank you. 
person lives 